SMS, this is Megan. Today is November 19th, 2020. And now we have a special video with Mr. Hummer and Ms. O'Boyle. Hello, DSMS students and families. This is Mr. Hummert, joined by Mrs. O'Boyle in our new studio. We are here to outline with clarity how distance learning and PD Connect will work after all students return to this model beginning next week, Monday, November 23rd, 2020. As I began, I want to acknowledge that many teachers, students, and families are heavy hearted about losing the special in-person community that we have at DSMS. Others out there have questions about the schedule that I shared with families on Monday. That schedule will have us attending school for four hours of instruction from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. In this video, Mrs. O'Boyle and I, we're gonna share and discuss the schedule, healthy habits for an engaging online virtual learning school day, and how we can have an improved uh, distance learning model from what we experienced in the first quarter. Mr. Hummer and I care about each person in our community and always do our best to share information as we receive it, as well as to share our vision for a healthy school. Today we're going to shed light on the work and planning we've done with teachers to establish a more vibrant and engaged online community beginning next week. We've all learned a lot about distance learning in 2020, and we're confident that a few small changes will make a big difference next week. So please listen carefully. First, I'm gonna talk about the schedule for instruction. The attendance schedule runs through the morning hours from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Beginning next week, class period will be 30 or 31 minutes with four minute breaks in between. This schedule acknowledges the feeling that too much screen time each day is not the best for students and not the best for teachers. In a 30 minute lesson, teachers can usually share the learning objective, deliver direct instruction, and engage in a practice activity with the whole group. It's that last part of the typical instructional class period when students practice independently and they get started on their assigned work. There will not always be time to see this through in a 30 minute block. This is one of the reasons why we are bringing back STAT. STAT, S-T-A-T, is Student Teacher Assistance Time. And STAT has been an important part of supporting student success at Desert Shadows for many years. When we go back to distance learning, all teachers on our campus will offer a 25 minute STAT period in the afternoon. This will be in addition to the morning schedule. This time can be seen as an extension of the daily period and also a time when students can connect with your teacher. You can make up missing work and get your grades back on track. Even better than before, teachers' stat time will be staggered, so you can get this time and help in all of your core classes, and, all, and even an elective class, you can do this each day. Stat is a flexible 25 minute window of time. I don't expect that all students will be frequently attending all of the stat blocks in the afternoon. Those who attend class where you need a little bit more help, stat can be a game changer for your grades. Now your teachers will be sharing more information about STAT tomorrow and next week. Let's get your questions answered. That's absolutely right, Mr. Hummer. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Teachers and staff choose to work at schools because we love kids, despite what you might think. We love watching you grow and learn and even make mistakes. And if my 16 years of being an educator has taught me anything, I know one of your favorite parts about school is seeing your friends. That's what makes being a part so hard. It's hard for us too. Thank goodness for technology, which gives us a way to see and hear from each other. This message is about staying connected, and I want everyone's attention. In the past, students have been permitted to turn their cameras off during class. But let's be honest, turning cameras off is contagious. If one person does it, likely everyone will do it. This return to distance learning is going to be different, more fun, more engaging, and more interactive. Our cameras 
will be left on during class. This goes for every student in every class. No more circular icons in place of your face. We need to see and hear from you in every class every day. One of the more popular excuses for not turning on cameras was that students felt uncomfortable with their surroundings being aired out in class. We've fixed this by offering a new feature where students can choose a background instead of showing off their bedroom, living room, office, or kitchen. If the interior of your home is the cause for leaving your camera off, consider utilizing this feature. Other students claimed that their cameras weren't working. Very occasionally, equipment does break and needs repair, but in most cases, when broken cameras were investigated, parents and teachers found out that everything was working just fine. If you have trouble with your camera, it is your responsibility. Pick up the phone, send an email, but contact us at the school. Ask for tech support or to exchange your laptop with one that works properly. With these new expectations in mind, virtual classes will feel alive again, and we won't feel so isolated while we hunker down at home during this closure. I believe that this closure is temporary. If we do what needs to be done to stop the spread of COVID-19, we'll reopen schools again soon. Until then, stay with us. Bring your fun and energy to your classes each day. Keep your cameras on. This will be an expectation in 100% of classes starting on Monday and continuing throughout the school closure. Mr. Hummert and I will be enforcing this expectation right off the bat by communicating with parents at the first sign of cameras off. Thank you for listening to this message. Thank you, Mrs. O'Boyle. Like Mrs. O'Boyle, I want to encourage our students and families to accept the changes ahead with the understanding that this is a temporary setback. We will be coming back to campus when the conditions are right for us to do so. I'm so proud of the job that our staff and students have done to keep a healthy school setting in light of COVID. We did it before and we can do it again when we get the call. Try not to despair. This year especially, finding ways to remain hopeful and optimistic is so important. I find it true that we, when we support and lift up others, our own spirits take a turn in the right direction. So I'm gonna challenge you to think about reaching out to a few friends that maybe you haven't heard from in a while. Take a little time to think about who in your life may benefit from a kind word or a positive interaction. I think you'll find them pretty easily. Be that person who offers that gift to others. And in doing so, you will indeed be kind and brave. I want to thank you for listening to this announcement. If you have any questions about this, Mrs. O'Boyle and I will see you in the courtyard today and by email all the time. Hey DSMS, it's Preston with the birthdays. The only birthday today is Mackenzie Malco. Have a good day. Back to you. It's Matthew with the weather. The high today is 86 and a low of 61. It's Jake with the sports. Did you know in football, the home team must bring 36 footballs for the referee in the NFL? And now it's Mason with the lunch. Hey DSMS, it's Mason with the lunch. Today there is bean and cheese burrito, chicken nuggets with a wheat roll, and a sandwich pack. Now to the anchor. Hey guys, it's Cody here. Just a quick reminder to keep taking selfies and sending them to Miss Lee. It would be greatly appreciated. Well, that's all for today, D.